Wet weather clothing and footwear are often made with membranes that are both waterproof and breathable. Breathability in this case is defined as the ability to transfer water vapour. There are different types of membranes and the two main categories are microporous and monolithic. Microporous membranes such as Gore-Tex and Event have billions of tiny holes called micropores which are much smaller than water droplets, thus protecting us from rain and at the same time much larger than a molecule of water vapour, allowing moisture to escape. Monolithic membranes such as Sympotex and Dermizax have hydrophilic sections in their structure that transport water vapour out through a process involving absorption and evaporation. While different and complex technologies are involved, the principle is similar and very simple. It's pure physics. Inside, due to the heat and moisture produced by the body, it's relatively warm and humid. Outside, it's relatively cold and dry. Nature always wants to achieve balance. Since the inside of the jacket has higher humidity and the outside of the jacket has lower humidity, a process called diffusion takes place, in which the water vapour is let out through the membrane, reducing the moisture inside the garment. Breathability is a key technical property of clothing, footwear and equipment. You may even say that it's as important as waterproofness, and a simple plastic poncho is a good example of this. It is 100% waterproof, protecting us from rain, but because it's not breathable, it keeps the body's moisture inside, making us wet from our own sweat. There is another aspect of waterproof clothing and footwear that is critical to maintaining its breathability. These are hydrophobic or water repellent properties. The membranes are usually laminated to an outer fabric which is covered with a chemical treatment called DWR. It stands for Durable Water Repellency. It is the layer that makes the surface hydrophobic and prevents water absorption. When it rains, water drops run off the fabric surface and the fabric stays dry. This is crucial because otherwise the laminate loses its breathability if the outer material is saturated. The membrane itself may still work fine, moisture from the body wants to come out and normally would pass through the membrane, but condensation starts to form on the inside of the membrane, because water cannot pass if the other side is saturated. This is what happens when the outer material laminated to the membrane is soaked. Knowing how important this functionality is, you should also know how to maintain it. There are several rules that must be followed. First. Clothing, footwear and technical equipment should be cleaned regularly. And for example, if you wear your waterproof jacket regularly, you should wash it about three to four times a year. It depends on the intensity of use and the conditions which you use the jacket. Second, you should never use ordinary detergents or fabric softeners. These will destroy the DWR coating and leave behind a hydrophilic or water attracting residue, which will have a negative impact on breathability. You should use a suitable product such as Nikwax Tech Wash, which cleans the fabric effectively without damaging the water repellent coating and without leaving behind a hydrophilic residue. Over time, you will notice that the DWR coating has worn off, mostly from abrasion. You should then renew it after washing with Tech Wash, using products such as Nikwax TX Direct Washing for use in a washing machine or Nikwax TX Direct Spray On with a convenient pump spray. For footwear, Use footwear cleaning gel and a suitable Nikwax footwear proofer. If you follow these simple rules, your waterproof clothing and footwear will last longer and perform better, keeping you dry, warm and comfortable. Because Nikwax products are environmentally friendly, you can rest assured that you will do so in a sustainable and environmentally friendly way.